Disney. You have outdone yourself with this tomfoolery. I want my money back. That would be assuming that I could afford $6,000 to go to Disney World for two people. No, I think it's $4,800 for two. I would take you. You and I could go. Maybe if you foot the bill, though. But anyway, we're going to talk about the Galactic Star Cruiser from Disney and Star Wars and a little bit of the controversy that's going on right now, which I find absolutely hilarious. Anyway, I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And as we are a small content creator channel that is needs your help, we just need a little bit of help. We could really use that sub. If you'd like what you hear here, subscribe. Give us a like. We appreciate it. Discuss in comments. We have some things we'd like to talk about. Because guess what? Disney deleted a preview of Star Wars Galactic Cruiser following public criticism. Oh, really? This is from uh, Worldwide Leader at Disney Park News. This is straight from like a Disney supported news site. Uh, they gave a preview and uh, these two smiling faces here, uh, Sean Giambrone of the Goldbergs and uh, the lady who's like the lead Imagineer who made this is, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty weak sauce what they gave out there to us and I'll go through some of it. You can find videos from other people who've reviewed this and I'm a couple days late to the show, but I have some new information because they keep, they can't help themselves. On one hand, they're giving out, uh, they're deleting old information, but then getting rid of it and then putting out new stuff. And it's like, what? Just show when it's done, people. Because what you're showing us so far seems like it's half finished and not that good. Anyway, uh, yeah, people are griping about it. A lot of, lot of stuff. People not liking it. I get it. I get it. They took away dislikes. But here was the video, which is now gone. And apparently it was, uh, it was like the kids going through and they're showing them things. And they're like, you could go uh, do lightsaber training. But then they don't actually show it. They just show concept art. And then they go, you can do like the hyperspace jump. And like... Apparently, you can already do that on the um, Smuggler's Run Ride, which is in the park. I've, I haven't done that either because I'm too poor to go. Anyway, uh, what else did they say? Oh, yeah, and the kid's like, I went to dinner and there was some lady singing a song. Okie dokie. So, we'll get to that part too in a second. Now, here's the new information. Well, let's let's go with the new information first. So you've watched this far. I'll give you a little bit of tidbit of news so I can go back to the old and make fun of it. They're introducing a new character for Epic Star Wars Experience. This is not a hotel. It better not be for $3,800 or $6,000 for three adults and one child. Uh, this is brand new, hot off the presses, Monday, December 6th from Entertainment. They got an exclusive picture of your captain. Wow, that's super exciting. So anyway, uh, you get a two-night stellar affair for, they're saying about five Gs this day. It's part video game, live action role play, immersive theater, and luxury experience all rolled into one. Right. And uh, let's see. Oh, C Captain K <laughs> Captain Caveman? Captain Keyvan. Now, I don't know what's going on here. I'm assuming that that's a chick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I'm not a... Actually, you know what? I won't assume any pronouns. Captain Keyvan will escort guests through the Galactic Star Cruiser. There has to be multiple captains, right? Because this poor person can't just live in the hotel for the rest of their life 24-7. What in the world? <laughs> what is going on here? They're going to have a lot of stand-ins? Like, What? So apparently you could book departure times and sync up with a fleet of others. You'll navigate differently depending on the choices you make. Multi-threaded set of interlocking and interweaving stories. You may choose to affiliate with scoundrel types. This is just, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. This cannot, <laughs> this cannot be real. Why would I care about who the captain is? Show me something exciting. Okay. So now I don't want to bag. I told you that they go on it. Uh, the the kid goes for a dinner trip, 
or, or he goes in, steps into a bar, and they have a singer. Like, I'm super excited about Star Wars having a singer. Do you remember the last time Star Wars had singers? Like, why couldn't they just have, like, animatronic puppets come out of, like, the ground and just play some Tatooine music or something? But I don't need the thing that they redid uh, when George Lucas did the ooh-cha, 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 like the, the whole second. No. No, thanks. Don't need any of that. Just give me some light background music, some uh, animatronics, but no. You're going to listen to this chick. Now, I don't want to bag on this girl. Like, she's a fine singer, and she's dressed as a Twi'lek. But does anybody have six element vibes going on here? Look, she's got tentacles for ears, and she's singing a song. And then you've got this chick who's got tentacles for ears, and she's singing a song. I paid for Star Wars, which I didn't pay for because I don't have the money for that. But if I did pay for Star Wars, I wouldn't be paying for Six Element and I wouldn't be paying for a singer. Like, what is going on here? So every night this poor chick, Gaia, has to sing. Like, who who cares? Why would I? She's a galactic superstar on my, like, cruiser that's being attacked by the, the, I don't know, the Empire or the Rebel. Like, why? Why would I go? Well, I know this is not what I want. I want animatronic puppets or people dressed as puppets or Muppets or any of that combination of things playing fake instruments with music piped in and give me weird drinks. That's all I ask for. And the last thing that I will conclude with in in this like effervescence of disappointment. Again, don't, nobody should harass this lady. She's, I'm sure she's extraordinarily talented, but why? Why? Last time I checked, Twi'leks were naked dancing. If you watch the original Star Wars, she's wearing a see-through top. You can see everything. Just go back and look. Check the tapes on that. Baby Yoda, you checking them tapes? You're too young for that, baby. I forgot. Baby Yoda's in the background. You can't see him because I'm blocking him. But he's listening. So is my ad at. My ad at's listening too. All right. So anyway, let's go to the last thing I want to talk about. A sneak peek. And I hope I don't get pulled for this. I'm going to try real hard of the lightsaber training. So they have a demonstration that they released. This was a little while ago. This is the probably the crowning achievement of terribleness. So dude goes in this dork and (laughs) he, I don't know what's going on here. She's holding the thing upside down. Why? (laughs) Okay. So yes, she's got the lightsaber. She hands it over to the dude. Let's see him get a good grip on this. He's gonna get his little, oh yeah, that's a good way to hold that. You grip that there, chief. You grip it, you grip it real good. So then he's holding, I don't, it doesn't even look like a full size lightsaber. It looks like a baby lightsaber. So he's like trying not to poke her eye out. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it lights up, yeah. And then you face off against a stationary remote that you try to catch laser beams with. Welcome to 2021, where you can stand still and have a laser beam shot at you. Instead of actually engaging in any sort of like fighting or anything like that, you can just stand there and get a laser blasted. What if it shoots you in the eye and you go blind? What then, I dare ask you? So, this looks not good at all. And then, oh, there's, so here's the video game part, which is also terrible. (laughs) This is like, (laughs) have you ever go into an arcade in the past, like, five years, and there's like a Star, (laughs) there's a Star Wars game that you can go and sit in? This looks better. This looks, no, no, that looks better than this. Where they're standing at these consoles here, and they get to play, like, a little video game where they touch buttons and it does nothing and then they have to defend the ship hold on let me get yeah so real immersive he's not even looking at the screen he's just looking down as tie fighters cruise by and they have to like aim and shoot them like oh man this is just this is not good this is not good I, I just don't understand what is what is going on here. Why? And then you get to hit the hyperspace button, which I'm sure is super, super exciting, where you stand still and look at a screen and it goes, it didn't even work. Didn't even work. Oh yes, it works. It, it does something. Hold on, there you go. You can get a little bit of hyperspace. I'm sh- I wonder if it moves or if it shakes you. It's like, punch it, Chewie. Whoa. 
That was a terrible Chewbacca. That's how Lunas is. This is much lunacy this is. I can't even do a proper Chewbacca impression. It's crazy. This. So uh, you will not see me spending six thousand dollars on this. Unless you take me. If you and I go, then it's okay. I mean, we can go together. It, w it it doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be like a friendship cruise on a starship where we play terrible games and waste your money. So anyway, tell me, what do you think? Are you planning on going to this? Would you go to this? I heard you only get one trip out into the uh, the shopping area or whatever. So think about it, you gotta spend all that money, plus you gotta go shopping and buy your $150 lightsabers. Come on, man. What are you doing? Anyway, uh, tell us below what you think. Again, please, we're a burgeoning channel. We would really appreciate your subscription if you deem it necessary. We appreciate that and a like. Even a dislike, you'll never see. Ha 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 Well, I mean, we'll see. And then we'll cry. So anyway, uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. It's free everywhere you can think of, including iTunes and Spotify and all those other great places. And you can catch us live streaming, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come party with the Party Time Podcast. That's us. Our reviews will kill you. And I am out to the next one.